In this video, we are going to show you how to install Lightroom Local Adjustment Presets. They are very different than the global presets that you find over on the left-hand side of Lightroom. These are global presets that when I click on something, for instance, let's say rich black and white, the entire image changes. However, with local adjustment presets, which are found over on the right hand side, which include a brush, a radial filter, a gradient, those things are local adjustment presets, which means that those changes will occur only where you paint them on. Inside of those areas, say the brush itself, the brush tool, right below the brush tool itself, above the temperature, you'll find a little panel that says effects and inside the effects there's a drop down menu. Lightroom ships with a number of already preset um, presets inside of this drop down menu. For instance if I click on exposure you'll notice that the exposure knob here has changed by minus 0.78. Now you can do a lot of tricky stuff and the purpose of having a preset for the local adjustments is so that you don't have to keep putting these into position every time you want to make a change on a local level inside of an image. So we want to create presets and I would strongly urge you anytime that you set your own set of settings here that you go into this drop down menu and save the current settings as a new preset so that you never have to do that again. But sometimes you might download or share or buy presets for the local adjustment preset area. And so we're going to show you how to install those. Notice that unlike in the develop area, if I click on this drop down menu, there's nowhere to import presets into this area. That doesn't exist, so there's not that option. Instead, what we want to do is we want to go to the preset area inside of Lightroom Preferences, and inside of Lightroom Preferences, you'll find a preset panel. In the preset panel, there is a folder button called Show Lightroom Preset Folder. If I click on that, it will bring up the folder where all Lightroom presets exist. So here's the button, and here's the folder where all of your Lightroom presets exist. No matter where they are, on what computer. I'm on a Mac, you could be on a PC. If I click on this button, it will give me this folder so I know exactly where all of my presets are. Inside of this folder, you will find a develop presets folder. That's where all your develop presets go, the ones that are over here on the left-hand side of Lightroom's develop module. But in order to access the local adjustment presets, which are on the right hand side, just under the histogram, you have to find the local adjustments preset folder, which is going to be down just a little ways in the L category. It's all alphabetical order. And you'll see local adjustment presets. If I click on that, you'll see that there is nothing in this folder. The reason there's nothing in this folder is that Lightroom ships with its own presets, but it doesn't include them in this folder. Anything you create will be included in this folder. So if you've already made some of your own presets, then those presets will be included inside of this local adjustment preset folder. But if you haven't, then you need to add them there. So let's go, uh, let's hide Lightroom. And let's go, this is the folder that Lightroom showed us. So this is the Lightroom presets folder. And here's the local adjustment presets. Inside of that, we want to place ours. Now what I've done is I have downloaded the tools collection, which is the Lightroom local adjustment presets that I've created and have for sale online at jaredplatt.biz. If I double click this zip file, which is what downloads from the store, I can open up the folder that includes a folder and in that folder it is named drag contents into local adjustment preset folder. If I click on that you'll see all of the presets that we can put into Lightroom and we can do it all at one time. All we do is highlight one of them and 
hit Command A so that we highlight all of them. For those of you on a PC, that would be Control A. And I'm going to right click all of those and I'm going to copy them, 38 uh, presets. And then I'm going to right click this blank area and paste them. Now you can see that I have them here in my original folder and I have them here inside of the local adjustments preset folder inside of Lightroom. The reason I do the copy and paste, you can drag them in, but if you drag them in, they'll just drag over to there. If you copy them, then you have them in two places and you can then back this whole set up. So when I close this folder, I can take this folder or the zip file and put it on a Dropbox or put it somewhere safe so that I have access to it anytime I need it rather than having to go to the store to re-download it. Okay, once I've done that, I've got my Lightroom local adjustment presets inside of the local adjustment preset folder. Now, if I go back to Lightroom, you'll notice that they are not there. That's because I have to quit Lightroom and restart it in order to see new presets. Once I have restarted Lightroom, then Lightroom will check for new presets and those will be available to me. So if I go over to the right hand side under the brush and click on the effects panel, you'll see that now I have all of my local adjustment presets ready for me to use. Now just in as, as an example, um, if I click on an image that needs a little burning and dodging, um, so I've got my brush open and I click on the effects drop down menu. Um, I might do a little light burn over here on the grass and notice that I was able to quickly choose that burn option without having to fumble with all of the controls. And so now that's all set. And if I want to burn this sidewalk just a little bit so it looks a little bit more wet, that would be good. Uh, burn that door just down a little bit more and even burn these tops of these trees a little bit since they are a little bit brighter than I would like. And then uh, if I want to turn that light on, I can go uh, again down to, I'm going to create a new brush and go down to turn the lights on. And the first thing I'm going to do turning lights on is I'm going to make the bulb turn on. So if I click here and just, there we go, now the bulb is lit. And now I'm going to create another brush with the same lights on, but just kind of manage the flow of the, of the brush a little bit. Now I'm going to paint the glow of the actual carriage housing for the light. And then I need to do one more brush in which I will show the overall effect that that light has on the wall. So I'm just going to add a little bit of brightness right behind it on the wall. And then I'm going to add a little bit of spill out towards the edge of the wall. And now I can simply go into any of these. So let's say this one and this one, I can click on the option key. This is in Lightroom CC, by the way. Um, click on the option key and drag one way or the other and I can increase or decrease the total effect of that brush. So I'm going to increase it just a little bit there. Good. And the other thing that I need to do is I need to erase some of that so that I get the uh, metal back because obviously the light was spilling over the top of it. So I click on the erase uh, button here and turn the flow up and my brush way, way down and zoom in on that light and then I'm just going to erase out that area so that we don't look like we were just creating light over the top of it. There you go. And light always spills a little bit around those cages, so that's fine. Um, but that, that looks pretty good. And I'll zoom out and turn off the brush, and you can see that the light is now on. Um, that's much easier than finding the person at this location and asking them to turn the light on and probably getting the no answer. So that's one way that I use the brush uh, tool 
uh, inside the local adjustments area and I always use my presets because moving all these sliders is a big waste of time. So that is how you install local adjustment presets. Enjoy.